and I'd like to welcome you all here today. Thanks a lot for joining us for the last Incon Learning Month and by, by no means uh, the least, I'm sure we're going to have a very um, interactive and interesting presentation as MCI will do a demo of their uh, digital platforms and we'll leave plenty of time for questions. Uh, so I'm going to leave it over to the experts now. Edouard is from our Incon Technology Collaboration Group um, and he has brought us here with his colleagues today. Thank you, Angela. So um, I'm Edouard Duverger. I'm the Chief Information Officer of uh, MCI. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Um, so today we'll have two presentations. Uh, the first one will be from Jeremy from our uh, French team in Paris, uh, who will present Relives that has been developed by his team. Um, he's, a, he's a digital project manager um, in charge of uh, of like a few projects uh, in the last uh, 18 months. <laughs> and then we'll have uh, David Granit uh, from our uh, Doye office, uh, which is one of our brands uh, specialized in AV, but they're also uh, creating a lot of digital experience in the last 18 months. And he's a creative technologist. Uh, we'll let him talk at the end because he's, he's talking too much, as you will see. Um, so let's kick it off with, uh, with Jeremy and, and, and the presentation of, of Real Lives. And, and at the end, um, I will ask them a few questions and then we'll let you, uh, we'll let you ask yours. So enjoy the demo. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Edouard. So uh, hello, everyone. I'm kind of impressed and uh, not usually uh, uh, presenting this solution in English. So that's kind of a first. So um, if I mixed up some word, I'm already sorry. Just pretend I've done it right and uh, and let's move on. Okay. <laughs> so I will present my, uh, I will share my screen right now. And uh, I will present you uh, the, the solution we've been working on for a year now. Um, Edouard, can you just give me a thumbs up if my screen is okay? It's all good. Perfect. Thank you. So um, real life is basically a very unique solution. Uh, there was a gap in the uh, event uh, world uh, for video conference and streaming. And we've tried to, uh, to fill in this, uh, this gap. And I will present you the real life, uh, the, this unique solution to transform your digital meetings into an engaging experience. Um, at uh, real life, we really believes that virtual events can be better than they are today. And uh, that's why we are working on this solution. Um, for, sorry. Um, in this world, um, we come with less interaction every day and less engagement because of the COVID and because of and a lot of things. Uh, so the messages uh, are not uh, going well between people and we're, we are thinking that social connections are broken. So we want to turn uh, your virtual events into real events. And that's why uh, we thought about solutions. And we know there is only two options today, uh, but there is place to improvements uh, here, of course. Uh, the two solutions I'm talking about are uh, streaming and the video conference, the, the classic one, Teams and Zoom. So for the streamings, uh, the quality is great, but um, it's very hard for the speaker to address uh, a lot of people in front of a camera, just like I'm doing right now, because I can see only Edouard and Angela. So it's very hard to have feedbacks from the audience, and it's very hard to, to have a feeling of the, of the audience. So I know today, uh, like with Fred Comte, that I'm, I'm only with good people, so I'm very confident about it, but uh, it's not always the case in speakers. It can be a little bit stressful to speak of in front of an audience that doesn't really exist in his eyes. So uh, we are trying to, uh, to improve that. The other option uh, is of course the Teams and Zoom. And um, it's very nice to see your audience, limited audience, uh, but it, it's not always clear. So. That's why we really focus on three different things for real lives that we want to, uh, to share with you today. It is a unique solution because it's a 100 HD 180p uh, resolution. Uh, we are very proud of that and we, uh, we worked uh, hard to, to deliver this solution. Uh, because of some systems, we can downgrade to 700, 720p, but we try to, to keep that one, uh, 180 p most of the time and we deliver. So that's, uh, that's one point. Um, the, um, another point is it's zero 
person compression. Uh, we know that when we share stuff over, over Teams or Zoom, we can have a um, degradation of the quality, the video quality. And we don't know really when and we don't know really why. So the objective here was to uh, have zero percent compression, keep the 180p, and that's why we uh, that's why we we develop uh, uh, real lives. The third point is uh, no latency, of course. If I can see my audience, if I can address to people, I would like to be able to adapt my my speech to the people I have in front of me. And uh, by uh, an exceptional chance. I want to allow my my audience to see each other as well. So that's why we can see uh, that's what we can see in the, on the screen right now. The three screens that you have behind the uh, behind me on the on the photo here, that's the, the the three different grids I have in front of me at the same times. At this moment, I'm uh, I'm on a virtual set on a green screen, so uh, so I have it in front of me. But the audience is seeing what I'm seeing as well. So everybody is seeing each other, and it's pretty cool. I I have to admit it's pretty cool uh, for what I I, I have uh, uh, experienced at this moment. Uh, the last point is the, um, that, of course, we have a mosaic that is. Uh, um, limited in a, an amount of percent. So we have 300 people available right now in the mosaic. We are working to, to get uh, more people in the, in the mosaic, but just to um, reposition the, 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 the speaker at this moment, I'm on a green screen. I have screens uh, in front of me and uh, maybe 300 people. If I'm uh, on a real event, in a, in a real live event, um, in a in a in a specific place, I can't really see at all the 300 of them. So it's exactly the same for real life. The 300 virtual person that I have in front of me, uh, I, I can have a look at them, but I will really uh, won't really be in touch with all of them. I will pick up some of them. So the 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 event has to be uh, has to be worked on, has to be built on uh, to this very specific specific need. Sorry. Um, if I have more than 300 people, I can have 750 other people just as spectators. And we are working on this number as well because now we are more around the, 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 the 1,000 people. We can do it. Uh, so we are over, over 1,000 viewers uh, at the same time in real life. Um, the, the first time uh, the, the, when, I, when I was working on this project, the first time I, I tried it, I was really impressed on how well it is going. Uh, I, won't, I, I wouldn't believe it at first. And on the first try, it was really amazing. Uh, I was really astonished about this. Um, different setup we can put with, uh, with real lives. Uh, so you can see on, on the screen, um, you can create your setup just how you want it, basically, because you can work on a green background uh, as a, as a, the leader of Geodis that you can see on the on the right uh, right image. Uh, she's on the green background, and we just uh, create a virtual background to put uh, to put behind her. Uh, that was really nice, and uh, the effect is uh, is kind of almost perfect, uh, depending on the the, crea the the creation you made uh, graphically. Um, one of the good thing in the virtual uh, virtual background is that every people you have in the mosaic, we can spotlight them uh, just on a click, and uh, and she will be able to uh, to uh, exchange uh, to to speak with uh, anyone in the green at this moment, and it's really easy. If uh, right now I'm I'm saying that I want to speak with David, uh, he he has to turn off. This, turn on this camera, turn on this micro, this microphone. Uh, we have to uh, ping him so he can be uh, in front of everyone. So that's a lot of clicks. Uh, with real lives, if I say uh, I want to speak with David, um, we just have to look for David in the mosaic, click on it, and he's spotlight. So so it's very easy, and uh, the 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 possibilities are really endless, just as your imagination. So it's quite uh, it's quite cool uh, about that. The other option is, as you say, for um, the next city on the on the left image is the lead wall. So it's a studio. Uh, we put uh, a table and and um, 
and chairs uh, in the studio, and we uh, we take a profit for the with the, the the LED wall just behind them to put everyone in the grid there. So uh, they 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 were able because there were many people on the on the studio. Uh, they were able to uh, to speak uh, with the people in the mosaic as well, but uh, it's a more realistic uh, environment. It's another option. It's less expensive, uh, but uh, but it was uh, cool anyway uh, as well. So we have different setup um, means lots of possibilities and benefits, and um, this is why you should uh, choose realize, of course. So I'm doing my publicity here, right? <laughs> uh, so you you can. Well, it's very, very simple. You can see your audience. Uh, it's more comfortable for the speaker. It's more comfortable for the audience. Um, of course, it's not like a real event, but it's close from a, a real event. So it's, uh, it's really comfortable. You can see uh, on the picture the, the our next speaker. There is David right in front of me. So that, that was uh, that was one of the first tests. And um, so, so you can see your audience, uh, large mosaic, depending on how many screens you have in front of you and how many people you want to, to welcome on, the, on, this, uh, on this mosaic. Um, of course, it enhances the interaction with your audience, thanks to live discussion. As I, as I said, you can, uh, you can spotlight anyone at any moment, and it's very simple and very easy. That your audience doesn't have doesn't even have to, to activate the microphone or our camera because they are doing it at the moment they, they log in in the, in the web page. Uh, you can experience, of course, full HD, which was really the point. Uh, we wanted to be able to, to share videos, to share contents with a high quality video because too, too many times we tried to do it in Zoom or Teams and it wasn't working. It wasn't uh, at the, the level of expectations our, our client needs. So uh, that was really a, a very important point. And um, of course, you can replace, uh, realize with, uh, well, replace your, 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 your traditional streaming system with, uh, with Relive because there is no download. Uh, you don't have to download any software. It's a web page. It's very simple to, to, to set up. You just have to do three clicks to, uh, to log in, but it's only on, on, on um, invitation. So it's securized. And uh, that's why you should, uh, you should uh, choose Realize. So Realize is a simple website, but really we don't forget what is essential as well. Uh, it's very important to, to us that the, the, the security and confidentiality of our clients is, uh, is uh, respected. So uh, we are recording only if uh, the, the, the clients need it. We can do it, of course, but we don't do uh, it automatically. We do it on demand and we ask him first, of course. Um, there's no process cache, so no trace of the meeting. So you're you're very secure about that, and uh, meetings are accessible only upon open invitation. So um, as I said, it's very secure. Uh, all the settings are um, made up first uh, with the client expectation, and we are to go forward after that. Um, we really think that. Uh, we can revolutionize the, 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 your events, your virtual events, but maybe not only virtual events, because we know that after COVID, we won't be the same in the virtual industry, in the event industry, sorry. Um, uh, you know where, where I'm, I'm going, obviously, at the hybrid meetings, uh, new normal. We, we thought about this, uh, this project, and we have a few uh, going on uh, at MCI France. So um, live audience and virtual audience can see the same thing at the same moment, participate the same way. So uh, um, everything uh, can be, become possible with real lives, uh, really obviously. Another option, because we are talking a about a lot of people here, uh, is the multiplex. Well, that, that's a concept we came after we created Real Lives because we, we, saw, uh, we saw an opportunity uh, in there. So just imagine, instead of having uh, 300 people uh, alone in their apartment, we just recreate a plenary. One, one person in the mosaic is a plenary. And because of the HD, we can have this uh, quality, this image quality, uh, looking at uh, several people in the same area. And because we can spotlight them and put it 
put them maybe uh, uh, full screen or or maybe half screen with two two different plenary at, at the same time we have really uh, a lot of different uh, possibility uh, real lives accept any source uh, so you can you can uh, capture a moment with your iphone if you want you can capture uh, uh, anything with a, a professional camera really the setup is up to you and uh, to your imagination so that's uh, that's kind of a real opportunity here for for creating great events another option that we uh, that we thought about and I'm, I'm quite proud of this one because you can you can uh, you can uh, aggregate people from all over the world in the same virtual uh, environment i don't know if you you saw it was uh, barack Obama and, and oprah winfrey that did it uh, for for a tv show but uh, at the same time almost the same time maybe weeks or two before we did this one the teleportation in the stadium uh, with the formula one just uh, just uh, on the on the, the top image um, the person in the red square is not in the same studio that the that the the other people so it means that i can have uh, someone on a green background in paris another one in shanghai and uh, another one in london and we just have to reunite in them in the virtual environment so that's another possibility of course it's more technical there are more uh, options to to see uh, before but uh, that's an option and i think it's really cool and uh, maybe it saves a little bit of money in terms of uh, transport and uh, <laughs> and uh, and location so it's good for the planet you know <laughs> that, that's the thing I think it's very RSE. I don't know if RSE is right in English, but uh, in French for the with its uh, protecting the environment. Yeah, sustainable. Merci, Edouard. <laughs> um, so that's that's of course uh, with the great power comes great responsibilities. I work on this uh, this sentence before this transition. Um, you have a full um, back end. To, to deal with uh, everything in our uh, in our lives, so you can see uh, on on the picture every uh, every person in the mosaic appears on the on the screen. So you can just click on it and maybe look for them in the search bar. Uh, you can adjust the the, the level of um, of their volume, the microphone volume uh, for every participant and even for the the studio as well. You can send them message if you want uh, individually or by group. Uh, if you set it up uh, before. So that's a very powerful tool. And this is really, really for events. It's, it's like that that is made for it. So it's perfect for, for virtual events. Well, to me. Um, there are uh, three uh, different subscription options, which are the license, premium license, and or just a la carte. Uh, so we can uh, we can work on uh, with you if you're interested and uh, and just uh, give you more details afterwards because there are a lot of options uh, uh, that we have to 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 clarify first but I don't want to 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 annoy you with all those details and of course what's uh, important the pricing uh, depending on the number of participants so we can go to 300 in the mosaic and after that the spectators it's it's not uh, it's not very uh, significant for the for the prices uh so we start at uh, 6500 and we can go up to to 30000 uh we can do more but it's a, we need to adjust some some uh, some stuff on the server so so it's only on a open request um i can uh, browse through uh, a few of our ref references now um Geodis, which uh, was one of our first uh, clients for Real Lives. And actually, we, we've done with them a, a lot of Real Lives. Uh, you already saw the, the picture in another configuration before. But we've done um, maybe, uh, uh, I don't remember exactly the number, but uh, almost uh, 10, 10 events with them uh, just uh, between March and June last year. So oh, this year, oh, sorry, before the summer. Um, for for the leaders' day, uh, we have done them twice. What's <laughs> oh, so it's the video? Sorry, <laughs> I forgot that, that there was a video. 
Um, we also have the FIA press giving uh, with a virtual uh, virtual environment. Uh, we have the Next City um, and Next City. They ordered uh, multiple times the, the the real life system as well. We've done it, and actually we are uh, mounting. A, we are sorry, building a, a studio in their in their in their walls to uh, to to put real lives in. So they are pretty happy with this solution. We had the Golden Globes uh, of Geodis uh, as well uh, with a 3D virtual set. And uh, really it is the, the top management of Geodis. So they were very happy with this solution uh, that we use uh, multiple times. Uh, we had Yann Artus Bertrand, which uh, I was very proud of uh, too, because uh, he's an exceptional person, of course. Uh, it was for Geodis and it was more of a, um, of a um, uh, inspirational thing. Uh, so we put in the background of the virtual background, all this photo browsing and uh, it was pretty awesome uh, to, to see uh, as well. Um, a little bit smaller, but quite efficient too, um, Les Victoires du Paysage de Valor, uh, where there was less participants. So it's not only for a lot of people, it's also for, for a small amount of, of people, but with a great quality, uh, 50 participants uh, in the mosaic at, uh, at this event, but the possibility to speech for the, for the speaker to speech with every one of them, the 50 of them, uh, they were very participating. So a lot of exchange and uh, it was only an hour. So very, very fast in the, in the, in the exchange and our real lives uh, allows that. That was a, a very nice uh, event. I was talking about it before, but the, the, the teleportation, we call it teleportation, but it's not really that, but well, we, we, we stick with that. Uh, the Royal B product launch for Guerlain, uh, obviously the, the, the person in blue uh, in the red square, she was in, uh, I don't remember, it was in Shanghai, I think. Yeah, Shanghai, it's written. And, uh, and the, uh, the other three are in Paris, in our studio. Uh, she didn't have the, um, <laughs> the dress code uh, apparently, but uh, but she was in the uh, integrated into uh, into the virtual background uh, at this point. It was uh, it was pretty cool too, and it was a really prestigious name uh, to have Gerlin uh, uh, with uh, with Realize. We are, we were very proud about it. We also have, and I think it's the last one, uh, a pharmaceutical environment, and this one is very specific because. We can integrate uh, real life as it is a website everywhere. We just have to do the right thing uh, 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 with the IT of our clients, and it's working perfectly. Uh, the, the technical guys are very, very good at it, and uh, it, it was a real success. And um, not to mention the title of this event was a uh, behavior for success. Um, so that's what I could talk about uh, real life. I realized, sorry, for, for 15 minutes. I hope I didn't get uh, too many minutes from David. <laughs> he, won't, he won't excuse me. So um, this is it. And uh, last thing uh, to finish, if you need more for more information, you can contact Elisa or contact at reallives.com. We also have a phone number and uh, a website, uh, which will be uh, redesigned soon. And that's it. Thank you very much, Jeremy. This was really interesting. Okay. So, yeah, let's go to David. Hello, hello, everyone. We can hear you. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Perfect. So, uh, thank you, Jeremy. Uh, thank you, Edouard. Thank you, Angela, for uh, for for having us and allowing us to to present. So, um, we. Uh, at Dorier. Dorier is the AV branch of uh, MCI Group. Uh, we create immersive uh, immersive experiences, and I'm the creative technologist for uh, Dorier. My mission is to create vectors of emotion so that we can make sure we have a proper engagement with our audience to deliver our client's message. Uh, we have experienced, of course, like everyone, the uh, the the COVID situation, and had to, of course, adapt to it. 
Um, that also allowed us to showcase a lot of our uh, intuitive and ingenu ingenuity. Um, and what we've designed is a, a very, very basic uh, website because what we experienced in the beginning of the transformation of the events into the, the digital world is that the solutions that were uh, off the shelves were great, but they would not answer a certain type of clients that we had. We have a lot of our businesses in the pharmaceutical uh, area and we have a lot of big congresses where we uh, host um, uh, events that have visitors that are not familiar with uh, digital events that are not even familiar with digital tools doctors uh, 45 and above uh, non-digital natives that go twice a year or three times a year to congress to get their credits and and see their 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 peers um, and then suddenly we have to transform those congresses that are dedicated to these audiences and we realized that the ergonomy of the websites that were uh, offering events transformations were mostly dashboards or extremely immersive technologies such as uh, um, uh, 3D environments uh, within where, where you can free room and actually move around and avatarization, etc. So we kind of had on one hand the huge uh, websites uh, like uh, Six Connect or or, uh, or those those websites where you can actually have an avatar and, and, and wander around. And we had those dashboards type of, of website where you have all your matchmaking and all your agenda and everything is on one page and you, you have many clicks to do in order to filter what it is that you want to do. So what we did is we created something super simple um, that goes straight to the point and that doesn't um, uh, offer too uh, many options to the uh, to the users, uh, so that he can go straight to where he needs to go. So uh, what we did is the whole strategy was to recreate 3D environments and then create websites that are based on images. So uh, we created here a, a Doye environment, and uh, as you reach the website, you get in the lobby and you have all the different features that are. Uh, presented with very big buttons so that you know non-digital natives can really find their way easily uh, of course you can find all the the, the 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 agenda and the speakers and the resource files and etc the things that are very common today and I, I don't want to waste too much time going into the technical details uh, what's important to know with this platform is it was designed to be compliant with the different tools that our clients existing clients are using uh, so we created some kind of an environment, an ergonomy, uh, where we can integrate uh, technologies that are uh, used by our clients. For instance, the real life technology is totally compatible with this platform. But of course, um, uh, we had to, to, to make it work for uh, interaction tools, we have to make it work for video conferencing tools, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So as you wander around in the website, you can simply go to different rooms such as plenary where you will have here the streaming and the little interactive interaction tools so you can interact with your audience here we have an example of slido but we can integrate any type of tool that you are using uh, if your uh, event managers are used to uh, a certain uh, application as long as it has a widget and not an iframe, uh, we can integrate it in the uh, website. This accelerated the, 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 the whitelisting of our website since we were integrating tools that were already whitelisted within our client network. Um, we created also breakout rooms that simply use visual conferencing, very simple, uh, but keeping this 3D ergonomy without making it too complicated to navigate with big buttons. So here really it's the idea is to make it as simple as possible. The added value of this is that clients can create their own environment. So we can recreate your uh, offices or we can recreate a, 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 um, a conference room or, 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 or a plenary that you have some in your, in your headquarters, but we can also dream of creating some spaceship or having it on an island. The, the 3D environment is completely um, adapted to your needs and as Jeremy mentioned uh, sky's the limit your your imagination is the limit of course here we are 
in a more standard uh, look and feel. Uh, you can see a different uh, look and feel here with the MCI logos. Um, we have about 12 generic uh, environments that you can uh, modify, or if you want, we can create uh, special uh, environments for your events. Um, the whole a concept of this is to create a very simple, uh, accessible uh, plenary network, etc. So, for instance, in the agenda, of course, you have the agenda and you can uh, jump in your room automatically. Uh, we have very high statistics and tracking, so we can give you statistics on pretty much every behavior that uh, is done by, by your visitors. Um, and we can also uh, push notifications notifications, uh, redirect users when needed, force them into rooms. So uh, we have some clients that uh, request that uh, people get notified when their session will start. And if they actually don't go to the right room or don't go to the room at all, they are automatically redirected to the session so they don't miss anything. Um, so this platform is, 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 uh, is very nice. It's called DigiPlace. We've been, we've been, um, we've been deploying it since um, last year and we had uh, a lot of successes and it's been rolling out and we have a full team dedicated to this to this product um what's what's interesting in this whole journey that we had experiencing the this transition um although this product is is very simple and 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 it's um i would say basic uh we also thought that engagement is important and that we wanted to go much further so what we did is we created another platform, which is the opposite of the simple platform. We created a, a platform that you can use in virtual reality on a video game and on a 360 website that includes gamification, that includes um, uh, even in real life objects that are related to the website. With this, we can really create a full scenario and a full story around your event. So I can show you a quick video that will um that will showcase this um this this little this little product that we did here i'm not sure if you guys get the sound we don't let me share again with sound sorry Do you have some? Yes, yes. In these ever-changing times, there is an ever-growing need for people to get together. So for this project, we created a whole futuristic city. Uh, everything is done in a game engine. The whole story was that our client had made a secretly a ship that will take the, the, the whole company to another level and conquer the world. We created a, a full aboard. environment. On behalf of the entire crew, I am delighted to announce that our vessel will soon be ready to take you and your teams on an exciting journey through the stratosphere. Get prepared for a new virtual experience with Evan Spaces specifically designed to share knowledge recognize achievements, boost inspiration without forgetting to enjoy relaxing and fun moments. We've organized a quick tour of the vessel for you. We really hope you'll enjoy it. So we have an auditorium. We have lobby, we have exhibition area. We have little pods that are the, the breakout sessions. And we have a video game that goes with it, with a scoreboard, and people can actually measure. So the whole story here in this case is there is an intruder on the ship, and this is this is a three-day event, and every day there's mis there are missions that you need to accomplish in order to unveil the intruder. This uh, is done with a major um, escape game company and we've been really, really working hard in order to make it really engaging and very competitive. So people can 
um, experience uh, a storyline, um, a corporate event, uh, togetherness and gamification all in one uh, platform. The future is yours. And you can have a part of the audience in a VR headset, a part of the audience on a video game and a part of the audience on your uh, web-based uh, 360 uh, website. And all of them can experience the same event at the same time, collaborate, exchange information, and, uh, and, uh, and exchange the, the different scoreboard, etc. So the, the point here that I wanted to point out for, for my, uh, my conclusion here is it's that it's not, um, it's not really the product itself that is important it's the approach and it's the fact that we have uh, we have seen what what was going on and we have reacted uh, in a very agile way and we have experienced this in hybrid event for 10 years now so for us the digital space is not new what was new is the request from our clients and the, the, the importance of the agility and the capability of delivering these services uh, in, in, a, in a very fast pace um, the the, the fact that we were able to, to build two different platforms, one very simp simple and the other one extremely complicated and extremely out there, we're looking more like the metaverse, is that is because we believe that there are uh, different ways of using those uh, event technologies, whether it's websites or interactive tools with phones or and and what we are trying to do here is really to explore with our client what is the best solution for them. We are an, an integrator and we're not trying to push our own products all the time, but we have a deep knowledge of what is needed and what is available, what is out there, what works and what will be coming next. And to Together with our client, we sit down and we try to get always the best tool for their event. And with experience in the past year, we realized that we have a conversion rate on our own products that is very, very high because we have the capability of adapting to the client's needs and to change any anything that we want directly because we own the code because it's native it's not based on cms because it's hosted on uh, dedicated vms that are not co-located so every client gets his own architecture therefore we can adapt content functionalities and security hosting levels together with our clients um, so what i wanted to showcase here more than the product it's the vision that Dorier and MCI has, the capabilities in-house, whether it's through uh, real lives, whether it's through uh, engaging uh, on real uh, XR Studios uh, content for streaming or uh, web platforms such as Quasar or DigiPlace. Uh, we have an extensive overview of what is needed in this event space and can accompany our clients in pinpointing the right technology for their audiences in order to get their message across. I, th I think I've held my time, did I? Yes, that's perfect. So there's, uh, before I ask you questions, uh, there is a question from Claudia. Um, so David, you mentioned you can relocate delegates if they are in the wrong virtual session. How yes. does that work? How can you move them from, let's say, one Zoom session to another? Mm. It's because it's not Zoom sessions anymore. So uh, I should have mentioned, sometimes for the workout sessions, we don't use um, a, a tool like Zoom or Teams, like a video conference Zoom tool, we use streaming and interaction tools that are embedded. So when we decide to force and to redirect users, we uh, cannot get them out of our ecosystem. So we do not use video conferencing tools such as Zoom. We simply create our own, uh, I would say, uh, a PIP picture in picture with the streaming and the interactive tool. Uh, this is how in key Keeping them in our environment, we can actually redirect them and force them into different rooms and plenaries. Thank you. So I have a few questions for you guys. Um, so the first one is uh, that I had you already answered it. So uh, the, the, the first one I will ask is, didn't you find anything similar on the market? 
So real life is really kind of exceptional in the way that they've done what they've done. So I think I will answer this by saying, yes, there are many, many, many different versions of, of, of uh, or websites that are like DigiPlace. The main difference that we have is that we, are, we can be a, a, a one-stop shop. Um, most of the time, if you decide to use uh, a, a third party, uh, uh, like a, a digital company that has a digital event platform, they will not take care of content. They will not take care of strategy. They will not accompany you in the creation of the agenda. They will not worry about the engagement level and the different speakers and tools that we can do. What 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 is interesting here with MCI is you have one-stop shop and we can actually uh, tailor made not only your platform but also your content and then have an echo between the stream and the content and the message and the and the speakers uh if you go to uh, uh websites that are have features etc cetera, etc cetera, then you have to find another partner for your streaming content and maybe another agency to help you with strategy and planning and and therefore you have three different uh, uh, company or providers that you need to synchronize. Uh, I think our added value and why we are uh, so ahead on the, on the market is that because we are a one-stop shop and people have one producer that, that they talk with and he's the one managing the whole show from the, uh, um, I would say, concept all the way to delivery and, and the streaming and the platform and the security, etc. So I think this is what dif differentiates us. It's not really the features and the functionality it's more the, the service around uh, the, 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 the digital platform, the ramification. I agree with David. And for real life, it, it's a very unique solution. But the, the, the thing is that at some point, at, at first, we, we realized that the, the solution was unique, but it was very hard for us to make everyone uh, understand that is a unique solution that didn't quite understand the, the the difference between video conference streaming and what's between them so that that was a real challenge and actually that's why we are doing demo uh, every week so they can experience it and uh, see how easy it is to use and that's that was a uh, very difficult but unique on the market thank you guys the so second questions i have is what were the, the technical challenges that you faced well, uh, I think uh, David didn't have any uh, challenges about technical because everything is not new. Everything is uh, is working uh, already. So uh, he has everything uh, prepared in his head. I'm sure about that. Uh, for real lives, to be honest, it's quite a luck because managing the settings in the streaming uh, with, a, with the technical guys, uh, we just figured that we can have this. So that was the opportunity. So really not te any technical uh, problems that we faced. It was just uh, simple luck and, uh, and hard work. And we just improve it to, to, make, it, uh, to make it feasible in the, in the virtual uh, event uh, area. For us, for for DigiPlace, there the, the were no real uh, technical challenges. Uh, as I mentioned, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward, pretty basic, uh, but it's 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 uh, stupid proof and 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 and, and working fine. Uh, on the Quasa, we had a lot of challenges: uh, the cross platform, the VR, the 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 the, the video game itself. Uh, I mean, everything was a challenge, and we managed to build this in in three months for for a client, and. Uh, we're, we we're very happy with the result and now it's time for this product to exist in a broader in a broader broader way now that it's very stabilized and everything so i think the, the real challenge that we had this year technically was to manage to create a platform that has users in vr users on a video game and users on the web platform that was the biggest challenge that we that we actually um uh, faced and and mastered we're we're very happy that everything works now and everything's fine Okay, and my last question before uh, the audience ask their questions um, is: uh, Do you have other things in the pipes, uh, in the pipe, or the new features that, that that you're working on that will uh, change the the way we we consume events or virtual events? Jeremy, if you, you want to yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, well, actually, I'm working on a teleportation system, a real one this time, but uh, <laughs> it won't be tomorrow. So sorry, guys. 
No, I'm, I'm uh, only kidding. Uh, yes, we were, as, as David uh, mentioned it, it's easier and we're more flexible if you have your own product uh, made in house. So we are working on our product too, but uh, a smaller one more, <laughs> it's, it's, not a, it's not a spaceship, <laughs> it's very simpler, but uh, that can answer a lot of, uh, of answer from our clients. So, so we are working on this one too. Uh, it's pretty ready, but not ready yet. So we will hear about it soon. Um, otherwise, David, David said that we adapt to the to the client needs, and that's right. We are very flexible. We are very adaptive. So uh, every need they have, we need to find some new solution. So we are adapt. We are very adaptable, and uh, and we try to find the the right solution for the right demand. So. That's more like it. And after that, on the side, yes, we have, we have some ideas, but nothing concrete right now. I, we are out there. Like we live every day in the future. Um, we have more plans than hands, uh, but we keep our hands and our people busy. Uh, we want to be part of the metaverse. We want to be a major player in the, the, the future of the metaverse. We are working with the major companies, whether it's uh, uh, Microsoft, the HTC and Facebook Oculus. And we really put all our efforts now in creating environment and, and trying to mix engagement, um, and mix uh, gamification, uh, mix immersive technology uh, and create platforms that can be really, really experienced, not only with the eyes and, 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 and ears, but also with the full body experience. Um, we, are, we are working every day in that space. We're really very passionate about the metaverse as a next destination. And we want to be part of this we want to own part of this we want to create a world where uh, events are absolutely amazing in a, in another in another dimension in a in a virtual world and of course that we're focused on the real life events because this is what we've been doing for 40 years and human interaction is our core business and this is what we love we are human centric company but the metaverse will merge with reality in the next 10 years so the same effort that we put in real life in making our events the most beautiful and most engaging and most uh, i would say agreeable uh, moment moments and, and and really create memories in real life we put the exact same effort into creating digital
Yeah, of course. That happens for the um, the very little stuff to the right, the 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 E harmony, the the, the technical uh, E harmony stuff. But that is the, the uh, on the internet uh, side is for the um, the realization. So it's only our part. We need, of course, to arrange the dots um, beyond the normal ones. But uh, we can do it everywhere and will do it. We will do it uh, anywhere. Uh, it's just uh, it's just a, a, ca a flight case, a uh, normal flight case. One is of this, uh, it's a it's a very small mm -hmm. one, but we just have to, to to make sure that the bandwidth is uh, okay for download and upload. Uh, it's 500 mega mega megabyte per per second, so it's it's a lot, but it's not that much. And for the participants, it doesn't need anything else than a, a test server, so so it's very easy. And that's w where the the technical guys were very very. Uh, uh, optimistic and uh, and work very hard about it. It's that it's not something new. It's it, it was already there. We just had to make the right adjustments for it, and uh, the way we uh, we use it, it you just uh, you just uh, can't really realize the 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 amount of uh, of uh, of uh, of sorry network uh, thing that uh, that are going on, but um, it's working perfectly. So. Nothing to worry about on this point. Okay, and uh, I saw all your picture is hanging above the, on the top, right? It it is not heavy. The the pi the picture on, on, um, on the all the the screens is all hanging. It not uh, just uh, stand up from the floor, right? Oh, you mean on the picture on my presentation? Yes. Oh yes. no! It was two different pictures. Uh, mm -hmm. The one on top, it wasn't the same uh, picture as the the one on the bottom. Actually, okay. the one on the top is is what I was seeing. Or maybe I can uh, I can find it back. Just uh, hold on a sec. Um, just to make sure that I understand what what you are meaning. Uh, whoop 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 whoop. I think it's here. This one. Okay. Uh, let me uh, I, I share my screen very quick, Angela, and then uh, it will be uh, will be okay. Okay. So you you were talking about this one, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, we several. Yeah, on the top, right? Yeah, on the top here, it's it's not the same image. It's a different image. You can see here on on the live one. I, I was mm -hmm. seeing this this one, but they are on the they are on in the studio on the on the on the it, it was a classic uh, TVs, but we had three or four. I don't remember exactly. Maybe there was another one on the left here, but it's a classic uh, setup for uh, because I had at this moment I had only two hundred people, so fifty for for screen. yeah fifty people uh, per screen, so yeah two hundred people. Uh, that's why uh, that's what a uh, the setup was. Thank you. You're welcome. Super. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks, Una, for the questions. <laughs> I think uh, we're good on uh, yeah. questions and everything. So just like to say thank you both um, and David for your contribution today. It was really fabulous. And we look forward to hearing about what's uh, what's in the pipeline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe the metaverse next year. Hopefully. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we never know. <laughs> no, pressure. no pressure. Okay, so thanks everybody. Um, there will be a recording on this on the Incon website in a couple of days, so you can share it with your colleagues if there's anybody who is more interested uh, for more information. And I'd like to thank you all and enjoy your afternoons or your evenings. Um, and we'll see you all soon. <laughs>